Hey guys. Hey teacher. How are you doing today, Jane? I'm fine. I'm very excited about Turkey today. <laughs> fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. I'm glad you have. I found some information about Turkey because here in my country there's a TV show and it's more they present present more document documentaries and there there is one one about Turkey. So I found some cool information. All right, fantastic! I like to hear it. I, I actually I got up early too, Jane, and I've been uh, I've been studying Turkey for the last hour and a half, just learning everything I can. There's so much to learn, though. It's poof. The history is so big, right? It's cool, though. Very cool. <laughs> um, oh, you don't have many people in class today. It's a little bit quiet. Mauricio, how are you doing? Hello, so, hey. Is I say Daniel. <laughs> sorry. How I'm, are you doing today? I'm sorry, I, 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 struggle, I switch I switch uh, names uh, when I say Shane, I say Katie. When I say Katie, hello Shane. Oh, I got <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. How are you today? Are you I'm feeling good. better? You're, you're such a devout student, Mauricio, that you, you you're coming to too many classes. <laughs> you know you know too many teachers. <laughs> How are you today? Very much I'm better. I'm, I'm much better. I'm not. Um, I'm not as sick as I was yesterday. I'm feeling like I'm getting healthy again. So. Oh, great! That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Hey, Mauricio, I, I need to get that logo from you so that I can I can put up uh, the logo at the very least for um, for the class to, to let people know about the geography classes because it's important. So, uh, what do you want? Uh, the uh, the logo much bigger, or what? Or yeah, um, maybe a big logo or something, just so we can show it. Because I I know I know you don't have a lot of time to do the poster for each country. I know it's a lot of work because we switch very quick. So yeah, um, yeah. yes, no problem. Uh, to, uh, the next the next week, uh, we are we are traveling to where? Uh, next week we're going to Egypt. Oh, great. Yeah. Great, great. No, yes, of course. I, 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 I could, I could create another, another post poster. Oh, just, cool. just, yeah. Yes, before, before, uh, after classes, uh, let me know. Uh, write, ty type on, on on Facebook. Write what, what, what would you like to do to, what, what kind of poster and the uh, specifications. This is right. Is it the the specifications. The yeah, perfect. Maybe I'll give you I'll give you a list of ideas of uh, some symbols of, of Egypt too. So, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, right. It's cool. My pleasure. You know that. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Mauricio. Um, Mohammed, how are you doing? Hey, Mohammed, are you there? Mohammed, Mohammed. Oh, can't hear him. Can't hear him. No problem. Radic. Hello. Hey, my Hello, man. Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. And something happened, like Jane typed it. Where is Liliana? Yeah, it's a little bit. Where strange. is Liliana? Where is Liliana? Yeah. She's not it's, in the school. It's not very often that we don't see her in class. That's true. I'm going to give her. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, I'm I'm sure she has a good reason. I'm sure she has a good reason because you're right. She's always here. Probably. <laughs> and you're still sick, huh? Well, a, a little bit. I'm get. I'm feeling a, li a bit better. Yeah, but you know, so I, I can hear it. You yeah, know? It's, it's still in there. It's still in there. <laughs> Maybe, I, I think I need one more bath and then I'll be okay. That's it. <laughs> well, how how are you doing today? Uh, you're talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> you're talking to me? Who's talking uh, to me? You yeah. <laughs> sound like uh, uh, out, out of uh, the movie. Um, yeah, yeah, that was some movie. Yeah, you're talking to me? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. So, so, someone remember what was the movie? Is that Good Fe Goodfellas or something like that? It's a gangster movie. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Starface, I haven't been watching Starface, the movie. I think. <laughs> Probably. Uh, 
خوان فيوم I don't want to take a bow. Oh, yeah. you're, <laughs> you're here. You're here. That's, yeah. I don't want to lie. You know, I don't want to lie. Like you know, most of the American people. How are you? Yeah, I'm right. I'm okay. You know, no problems, no anything. <laughs> I, well, not, yeah. Well, I want Radic. Radic. Either way, I'm glad you're in class because I know you. You can. You'll have an opinion on things, so it's nice to have. Anyway, you, you know. Uh, I'm very happy. I'm very happy every day because uh, you know I used to have accident two years ago. I was I have an accident, so you you can see on my head. You see oh, that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I was I was unconscious for two weeks. So. Oh wow. And, uh, I have a operation. They they open it my skull. Yeah, and uh, I'm every day happy. You know, I'm not laying down and. Like you know, conscious, conscious person. You know yeah. everything, but you can move. You know. Anyway, yeah, I'm happy, but yeah. Yeah. Every day, every day is a nice day to me, but. Well, definitely, you, know, you have yeah. to count count your blessings, right? Count your. Yeah, blessings. it's like in my country we, we yeah we in my country we say it's like a second life, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. that that was excellent. Anyway, yeah, okay. Wow. Good to, have you. Good to have you here. Yeah, count those blessings. Count those blessings. Exactly. Servet. Yes. Uh, Servet, I hope you've been up all night studying about Turkey. Me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't think yeah. you need to study about Turkey. <laughs> Actually, I need both me and history. In yeah. the same sentence, a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, we're not going to do history. We're going to, today. We're going to do history on Monday. We're going to continue to talk about culture, but uh, whoa, it is complicated. <laughs> it, I can't imagine what it's like uh, for Turkish people in school to be studying history, because yeah. there is a lot to learn. That's why I don't like history. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I guess it's easier for Turkish people to say, "No, nah, I don't like history. Too much, too much." Right? For a Canadian, it's no problem. It's like, "Oh, we're only 150 years old, right?" But yeah. Tur Turkey. Turkey's uh, Turkey's been maybe through a lot. Thousand year, maybe. <laughs> yeah, at least at least more. Lots more, of yeah. company, lots of countries. One country, they establish one country and another one country. It's complicated, lots of yeah, things. and it's it's so close to the the cradle of civilization, right? They call it the mm -hmm. cradle of civilization and uh, Mesopotamia and stuff, and it's close to all of where everything started, right? And, so. and also, you know, this place is not so peaceful place. Everywhere around us, lots so, of yeah. war, lots of things, and and you put all all of them in the history books. <laughs> 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 yeah, it just sounds like you're fighting all day, right? Yeah, I know, I know. But hey, hey, Servet, uh, it's it's nothing against the the present, right? It's all it's the past, right? it's the past. So there you go. And Sidani, how are you doing? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Hey, I haven't seen you for a little bit. How have you been? A little bit, yeah. Uh, I was so far from my home for an internship for my work. Ah, related cool. to my work. What, what, what kind of work do you do, Sidani? I'm uh, working in a telecommunication company. Ah, so you went on a, a business trip? Uh, not for learning more, but uh, some technologies we use. Okay, okay. Cool. Did, did you learn a lot? It's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and we are we use English to learn it. We should. Ah, okay. Well, that's good. You're always practicing your English, then. Yes. All right. And uh, yeah. you, you helped me a lot of. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Cool. Well, awesome. I'm, I'm glad you're here, Sadani. Thank uh, you. I I see on the outside Mona's there. Hello, Mona. Good to see you. And uh, Marisol, fantastic. Cool. We got. To Got a couple of people out there today. Victor, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing well, thanks. Yeah, no, you're not too tired. Uh, no, it's uh, only uh, 9 p.m. Okay, <laughs> nice and early for you. Hey, yeah. Victor, you know um, 
yesterday I went to my doctor just for to do a, a checkup, just a regular checkup, and um, he's he's Chinese. His family's from uh, I can't remember exactly where, somewhere in China, and um, and because of you, I remembered that it was Chinese New Year's coming up, so. I said, uh, Happy New Year's. And he said, Oh, you know. I said, Yeah, of course. Yeah, no problem. So uh, you, you you helped me remember when I saw my doctor. Did you know. got a discount? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? It, we're lucky in Canada. We have free health care. Oh. So it's it's one reason I always go back to Canada because, yeah, we have free health care here. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah. Different than and, that. and it's good? Yeah, it's good healthcare. Yeah, sometimes there's long waits to get in for things. They take uh -huh. the people who need to go, but it, it's pretty good healthcare. Yeah, it's um, well in in the United States, they're they're really jealous, and uh, lots of <laughs> Americans will come up to Canada. Oh. This day you said this, and I will talk about my president again. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Well, I'm gonna come to Canada. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's uh, it's it's one thing that's really nice is the free healthcare, but it doesn't include a lot of things um, that other countries, uh, like Scandinavian countries. Oh, the, the healthcare is really good there. It's free in Norway as well, is it not, Radic? I have no idea. I'm, 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 I'm healthy right now, so... <laughs> Radek never gets sick, so it's no problem for him. Uh... <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's one of the, the, the nice things about Canada. It doesn't include dental, it doesn't include eyes, uh, it's only the very um, important things, the most important things. There you go. And Antonio, how are you doing? Antonio, 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 are you there? Antonio. Oh, hello, hello. No. No, Antonio. Okay, we'll wait for you there. No problem. Mohammed, are you back? Mohammed. Yes, All right, back. cool, cool. Good yeah. to see you, Mohammed. <laughs> Thank back. you, Danny. Okay. Cool. Uh, I, I see Mar Marisol is trying to figure out how to get into the class here. Uh, Marisol, you need to go to this link. Marisol, puedes ir a este vínculo. But this is a, a um, an advanced class or a medium advanced class, so uh, you should be speaking in English in the chat. Um, Mona, so when it says history geography class, today's class is really um, we're practicing using our English. Okay, so we're going to be looking at um, geography and history, and and learning new words, learning new vocabulary, doing a little bit of reading. So it's uh, information that isn't English, but we speak in English so that we get. Um, you know, uh, a better understanding of, of how to communicate quickly and, and use our English in a real life situation. Okay. Ilyas, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Fantastic. I'm good. I'm good. Yes, I made it. Yeah, I'm glad you, you haven't been to any of the geography history classes, so it's nice to yeah. have you here. Thank you. All right, cool. Well, guys, last class, um, we got talking a little bit about um, some ideas that we have of, um, of Turkey, okay, and a few people said the first thing that popped into their head. So I've made a long list of all the, all the cultural things I can find that I think are very important um, to Turkey, and there are a lot of them, there are a lot. But before we start, I just want to once again go through the class, I want you to give me um, an idea of what you think of when you think of Turkey and for people who've maybe uh, done a little bit of research or learned a little bit more in the last couple days maybe just name off a few things that come to mind okay so I'm going to start with the, the students who weren't here last class um, Ilyas yes 
Can you tell me, what do you know about Turkey? First, I think uh, I love their uh, political government, especially Erdogan as yes, first minister. I like he has a good political. All right, all right. Yes. And do you know what what kind of government do they have in in Turkey? What what can you tell me about um, the kind of government? I think uh, they have they have a government that uh, accept everyone. The variety of uh, Turkish society. That's okay. what's important and good. Okay. Yes. Good. Do, do you know? Do you know? Um, you know, in different countries, we have communist governments, we have democratic yeah. governments. Do you know what we would call the Turkish government? No, I don't know actually specifically. Okay. Do, does anybody know what the name is that we would give for the kind of government they have? We would call the Turkish government a parliamentary republic. Okay, so it, it's a direct representation of the people. The people vote in um, the people who make up the government. Okay, and it's it's definitely democratic. Right, definitely a democratic uh, government. Okay. Uh, can, can anybody tell me any more about the government of Turkey? We'll get into this a little bit more uh, when we're talking about history because governments have changed. We'll get into modern day, but um, does anybody know anything else about the government of Turkey? Mm -hmm. I, I think the leader, uh, Mahathir Muhammad or something, he, uh, the first one began to make uh, no. The the president who who is the president is it is it not um, uh, Abdullah Gul? That no, uh, Abdullah Gul is not president. Oh, okay, he's a kind of he has a, a different duty mission, but okay. probably you don't. What do you call it? I don't know. It's kind of. Anyways, there are uh, prime minister. Not president. Yeah. Prime uh, Minister is Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Oh, okay, okay. And is is he? Uh, he's he's the head. He's the one who was voted in. Is this correct, Servet? He is the head of like the party, his party, and the head of the like the parliament. Okay. Uh, how many how many major parties are there in Turkey? Now in. Uh, in Parliament, I think they have four, four, four major, and they have a few people. I think they don't have a party, like they call them. Another thing. It, it, we, like, in in English, we would call them independents. Yes, independents. Yeah. So so they're running just for the people without a party, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Okay. Interesting. And I think in in Turkey also it's um. A f five years, right? Every five years, there's a new election. Is that correct? Yes, I think five years. Okay, yeah. Four or five years. Yes. Different countries have different times. In in Canada, it's four years, and in the United States, it's four years. Um, Turkey has five years. Because sometimes they do it earlier. If government thinks they are not doing well, they they go to the early election. Sure. Or or if they think they're winning. Um, in the polls, right? If they think, mm -hmm. oh, the, the the people will vote us in early, they'll they'll try yeah. again, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all strategy. Lots of political yeah. strategy for sure. Yeah. Cool, in interesting. And and uh, Servet, would you say is the government left more left leaning or is it right leaning? Are they more liberal or conservative right now? Right. Right. So a yes. it's a conservative government right now. Yeah, and the okay. conservative. Okay, okay. Uh, interesting, interesting. Uh, you say there's four parties in in government. Are there um, are there some liberal parties in in government right now? The first party is like a right party, yeah. the conservative party. The second party is like liberal party. The third party is like. A, they are in favor of like national things. They talk about. They call it 
and like patriotic things, this type of they call it. Okay. Na what national? They have. They are, no. They usually do politics over like nationalism, this type of things. Ah, uh, okay, got it, got it. Uh, Natalia asked, "Would you say right leaning?" Yeah, we could say right leaning. When, when you say when you say a, a government is right, it means they're very conservative. When you say they're left, it means they're very liberal. But if you say they're right leaning, it means they're kind of in the middle, but they're leaning to the right. So they're a little bit conservative. If you say they're leaning to the left, it means they're a little bit uh, liberal, right? I th I think generally in a lot of countries, politics these days, um, everybody wants to stay kind of close to the middle. Nobody wants to be way right or way left because you don't get into government that way. So um, a, a lot of parties, they try to uh, stay close to the middle so they don't they don't make the people on the right angry they don't make the people on the left angry they want to stay close right there you go and, and the last fourth uh, party represents like an ethnic group oh really uh -huh. they say they represent the ethnic group but they represent the like kind of terror things uh, you know they are big K K, like they they do like some terror thing. They put bombs in the streets. Uh, they they kind of a legal part of the. They they say like they are in favor of them, but a little bit weird. Yeah, hmm. interesting, interesting. And they're they're very far right. Would you say or? I don't know, right or left? It's not about left. It's kind of there. Yeah, somewhere else. Uh, somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> okay, got it. Hey, Radic, sorry to see you go. Excuse me? I said, I'm sorry to see you go. Have a, have a really good evening, okay? Yeah, you too, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, else? Yeah, bye bye. Else? Bye. Okay, uh, bye bye, all right. all right, so, Jane, how about you? What uh, What do you think of? I said, I'm sorry to see you go. Have a, have a really good... Wow, there is echo. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we got an echo. Wow, think perfect. of what? When you think of Turkey, I, I know we talked about it, uh, oh, okay. talked about it yesterday. But so, where is your yes. olive? Well, yeah, olive. That delicious black olive. <laughs> I'll say I ate so, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I watched that do documentary again. The Brazilian, it's a Brazilian TV TV show. The the main main main, cha main channel or stream? Can I say? A uh, channel. TV channel. Channel. Yeah, the main channel from Brazil. So they they showed us uh, about Saint Mary's house about um, the palace where sultans lived, uh, about yeah. the yeah, <laughs> blue natural pool, and something very interesting, underground cities. I uh, found that yeah. amazing. Yeah, this sounds pretty <laughs> cool. Unbelievable. In Istanbul, right? No. No, Is Cappadocia. Yes, Cappadocia. I think Cappadocia, they, they, yeah, sorry. also in Istanbul, uh, we have this type of thing, but they are maybe like we don't know that maybe they are. They need to be revealed. Ah, okay, okay, uh, cool. In, I didn't. No, oh, I didn't know there were underground cities in Cappadocia. Oh. Yeah, it goes fifty-five meters below of Earth's surface. Whoa. So, Let me find the picture. Amazing. Cool, <laughs> cool. I got, I have a few pictures we're gonna look at here. That's awesome. Uh, so much to see. Yeah, you know, after after doing this course, I'm like, I'm getting a little bit itchy. I just want to go traveling to to Turkey now. <laughs> uh, Mohammed, how about you? What do you think of when you think of Turkey? Mm, I, I think it's a very good example uh, of um, uh, Eastern uh, country, a Muslim country. 
uh, you can have a lot of uh, libraries there. Uh, there is a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of uh, thoughts there. A lot of uh, way of thinking. You are able to think about anything without harm anyone and no one interfere in your thoughts. That's a very example, very good example for Eastern countries and the Muslim countries in the same sense. Sure, yeah, a good example of a, a progressive Muslim country, right? Exactly, that's, exactly. That's, that's uh, combining Islam with Western ideas to kind of, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it, it bridging a lot of the the political and, um, what would we say, uh, the tension, right? There's always lots of tension between Western countries and the is Islamic world, and so it's. Like, <laughs> I it, don't know why, yeah, but but Turkey found found a solution for that. Yeah. No, no, any tension between. Them. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, Mohammed. Yeah, good point. Really good point. Yeah. Uh, Sidani, how about you? Uh, I think uh, between uh, Algeria and Turkey. Is there a long uh, relation in the history? Uh, as may, uh, before uh, 1830, uh, uh, North Africa, specifically Algeria, was governed by Ottoman uh, state. Uh, the, uh, the old uh, state of Turkey called uh, the Ottoman, Ottoman, Dawla al Uthmaniya in Arabic. Yeah. So, as a preacher there uh, for uh, two. I, I, how, how we can explain? Preacher for Islam there. Uh, 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 in in Turkey. Yes. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It 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 really is um, an important um, an important location, right? For for a lot of um, Islamic history. Yes. Yes. Yeah, great ampere. Yeah, for sure. All right, cool. Any anything else you can think of, Sidani? Actually, actually, I think it's a, a very good uh, country to visit. Yeah, <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> Especially after I've, I've been reading about it, I'm, I'm getting more and more excited. <laughs> there you go. Uh, hey, this is this is what Servet just uh, just sent me and so these are the underground cities it's uh it's amazing really it's very amazing so Servet, are, are there tours that people can do to go through yes I also went there I oh, think really? it uh, it contains more uh, levels but they don't let you to go uh, too deep wow. I, I think I went just seven levels and it contains lots of things like a complete city, not just like homes. Everything you need, it contains like maybe stores, maybe like mosque, maybe different things. Wow. Yeah, Everything they, you need. They had stores, table, everything. Is it dark yeah. down there? Yes, dark. But now it's they have like lamps. You can go, of course, and you can visit. Okay. How far away from Istanbul is it? Actually, it's too far away from us. It's, it's kind of in the middle of the Turkey. Like closer to Ankara? Yes, closer to Ankara. Okay. Sorry, Mauricio, you have a question. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Senor Servet, yeah. how, how <laughs> deep is the city? I, I, I think, if I recall correctly, I that. I saw seven levels, like seven levels, seven floors. Uh -huh. So if you think of every level, let's say three meters, I don't know, just you know, just calculating. It's probably it's like a apartment, seven, eight, eight level apartment. Oh, mm. well, that's pretty deep. That's pretty yes. deep. <laughs> good, good way to explain it, like a seven-level apartment. <laughs> Wow, cool. Well, hey, um, Mauricio, how about you? Anything uh, new that you found? I, I I looked at a few of the things you mentioned last time because uh, you brought up some good points um, that I hadn't thought about. Well, to tell the truth, I'm amazed because I didn't know anything anything about Turkey. Well, a little little things, but not 
no no things like those like like Cappadocia for example yeah they, they, it's a it's an amazing place I would like to 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 go there in on my fir my next vacations yeah okay. me too we, we might have to go visit Servet yes <laughs> yes Servet. so you be ready please all right I'll pack my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, uh, Victor. How about you? Any um, any uh, anything come to mind when you think of Turkey? Uh, I don't know much about Turkey, but uh, there is a kind of bread, Turkish bread in my place. It's called uh, doner kebab or something like that. Ah, uh, I think the the kebab is the meat, right? Donar kebab. Yes, that, meat. It's, that's that's the meat that goes inside uh, the the pita. I think is it. Did you call it a pita? Yes, pita. Pita. Yeah. Yes. What uh, when you usually when you eat kebab, they put it on a plate. Of course, you can like a. Like uh, a sandwich, you can take it like a sandwich, but not normal bread. Ah, uh, okay. Like, uh, like you know, you roll out the dough, it becomes like thin and round thing. They make a kind of bread, but thin, round things, while rolling out dough, and you roll the that bread and put inside, put it inside it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, th that's really popular uh, in Canada as well, actually. Uh, it's like uh, banh mi in Vietnam. <laughs> I have never ate it, but uh, it's popular here. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, Yasin, how about you? Are, are you there, Yasin? Yes, I'm here. Then. All right. Yasin, where are you from? I'm from Turkey. All right, perfect, excellent. Now we have we have two experts in the class. Excellent, great. Uh, yes, and is there anything that you want to, to mention about Turkey that uh, that that we we haven't touched on, haven't talked about? Uh, probably you know what I'm living in uh, Istanbul, and you know the Bosphorus, Istanbul Bosphorus. Probably, uh, yeah. I like there very much. Okay, okay, cool. Well, we're going to talk about it, guys. What I want to do right now, actually, is um, bring up all of the, the information I found, and we're going to do a little bit of reading about the different, um, the different sites and the different symbols of Turkey, okay? Because there, uh, there are a lot, okay? Things that, that I think come to people's mind um, when they think of Turkey. And, and this is part of it, Yasin, so uh, great. I can meet. Uh, all right, perfect. So here we go. I'm going to put this on screen share. Uh, and we're just going to do a little bit of reading. Some of this, some parts are a little bit longer. Some parts are a little bit shorter. Some parts have more difficult English words, but uh, it's, it's a good mix of things here. So once again, uh, here's the flag. We talked about... Um, symbolizing, uh, I think it was the color of the Ottoman Empire, right? But uh, I, I'm not exactly sh sure why it's the color of the Ottoman Empire. Uh, the color comes from the blood. From actually. the blood, okay. From, from the, the blood. War. Sure, sure. And, and like, like uh, Servet was mentioning before, obviously, Turkey's been a... You know, it's the center of where lots of civilizations have clashed, right? There's been a lot of war and things that have taken place when, when you look at the history. Uh, and then and then we have the symbol of, of the, the half crescent and the star, which is a symbol of Islam, right? Yes. Um, okay, so we looked at the geography last time. We said it's amazing how diverse Turkey is. It has um, still a lot of natural life there. There's many different plant species, bird species, okay? So people think about the history a lot of the time, but they forget about how much natural uh, vegetation and, and how many animals uh, are still on the, on, on, the, uh, on the land, right? So this is what Yasin was just talking about, right? 
Yes, yes. All right, cool. So here is a picture of Istanbul. Okay, this is Istanbul here, and you see this is kind of Istanbul is known as the the place where east meets west, right? And then you've got the channel that runs through it. So just going to read a little bit about Istanbul, and uh, I'm going to get everybody to do a little bit of reading today. But um, to start with, uh, Ilyas, could you read about Istanbul for us? Yes. Istanbul is the largest city in Turkey and was the capital city of the old Ottoman Empire until 1923. The city has been known since ancient time by the older names Byzantium and Constantinople. Constantinople. Being a swap port, Istanbul is the main trade center of Turkey. Istanbul faces the golden horn of the Bosporus Strait. The Bosphorus connects the Black Sea and the Sea of Marmara, and this penetrates Europe and Asia. The city is actually in both Europe and Asia. Its population in is between 11 and 50 million people, making it, it one of the largest cities in the Europe. There you go. So, yeah, one of the largest cities in Europe, and uh, 11 to 15 million people is not small, right? D does anybody have any questions about any of the vocabulary here? What do we mean when we, we say uh, seaport? Seaport. The, the shore of... Yeah? Seaport is, is where... Like where a gate. Water. Gate like to what's the it, Annie? A gate, a big gate to the sea. Sure. Yeah, exactly. It's like the gates to the sea. It's where where the trade happens, where people do trading from mm -hmm. the sea. Right. There you go. Uh, all right. If any, if anybody has anything to add to any of uh, any of these, feel free. Okay. Feel free. And if you see some words that you're thinking, I don't know what that means. Uh, say, hold on, I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, actually. Uh, does anybody know what the golden horn is? What's the golden horn? Golden horn. Yeah, it says Istanbul faces the golden horn and the Bosphorus Strait. Does anyone know? I'm not sure what the golden horn is. Sarvet or Yasin, do you know what that is? Uh, it's a place, Halic. Uh, in Turkish, its name is Halic. So, uh, how can? Is it? Uh, is it like a, a land? A different the arm. Arm of uh, Bosporus, I think. Halic. Ah, okay. okay. An yeah. arm. Of, arm of Bosporus. Ah, okay. Cool. Interesting. All right. So yeah. So there's Istanbul, guys. If uh, if you want to visit it, that's that's uh, just a little taste of what it looks like, but very interesting. All right. Oh, you see the little uh, like tower? Yeah. A uh, tourist usually can go there and watch the city uh, at the at the top of the tower. So ah. In the middle okay. of the tower, there's a little thing. Ah, okay. Cool. Servant, where do you live? Over Me? here? No, it's, I'm, I live in, uh, too far away from there. It's not if, in the middle. If, this? If, if anybody has a zoom on their computer, you can zoom in and you can see Servet sitting in, in his <laughs> place uh, studying Kalingo. This Need place uh, is called Kalata Kulesi. Ah, okay. A big city, though. It must be... Uh, is it is it difficult to travel around Istanbul? Is it very crowded? Yes, yes. yes. Ah. Difficult to travel, it's crowded traffic. Yeah. Usually in the in rush hours, it takes time. Ah, it sounds sounds like Mexico City. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and I think population is much more than fifteen million. Because yeah, you know, you know, yes, and they always give these these populations, and they don't include the the little places on the outside. 
right? Yeah. The communities on the outside, they never include them into the big numbers. So, yeah, I think you're right. I, I think they always say the numbers are smaller than it really is. Yeah. Yeah. There, Daniel? There are a lot of, uh, are a lot of illegal, uh, illegal identities. Ah, uh, yes, of course, yeah. We, we say illegal aliens. I don't yeah, know why yeah. we call them aliens, but <laughs> we say, yeah, illegal, illegal <laughs> aliens. Not like from a different planet. <laughs> but that's the name. Uh, yes, Mauricio? No, Istanbul sounds like if there are many double o o sevens or odd o o eights running along the streets with their <laughs> motors, <laughs> motorcycles. Yeah. But it, Mauricio's watched a lot of James Bond. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Very exotic place. Yeah, so. for sure. For sure. Uh, all right. Next part. Can anybody tell me what is this? Not the Turkish guys either. Anybody know what this is? A mosque. It's a museum. It's, no. a, mo it's a mosque. Yeah, it's a mosque. Oh, no, it's a museum now. Museum. Oh, now it's a museum. Now it's a museum. Yeah. Is it, this is Hagia Sophia, right? There you go. Yes. It was a church, I think, at the beginning, and they made it a mosque. Now it's a museum. <laughs> Okay. Is this is this connected to the blue mosque? It's very close. Very oh. close. Not connected. Okay. Right. Uh, all right. So, Hagia Sophia. We got a little bit of information here. So, uh, Jane, do you want to read that for us? Hagia Sophia. Yeah, I think you pronounce it Hagia Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Oh, okay. Hi, Sophia. Dedicated to holy wisdom, Hagia Sophia was the largest cathedral in the world for over thousands of years. Oh my God! Okay. First, mm, blurry. Okay. First, first a patriarchal basilica later converted to a mosque is today. A magnificent example of Byzantine and Islamic art alloy. If with its mag majestic body crowded crown crowned with an enormous dome, it makes you feel small and humble in the in the presence of God. Enter to witness an impressive performance of light. Polychrome, marble, and gold mosaic, mosaics, mosaic. which, along with the Islamic calligraphy round, round suspended from the dome, present a fascinating religious con contrast right in front of uh, your old eyes. Oh God! Uh, <laughs> That's, a big one. Yeah. That's a big one. That's a big one. Mauricio, do you want to continue? Yeah, yeah, sorry, I I was distracted because my little key, my little kitten bite bite beat me, beat me. Sorry. Uh, where where was where where where, uh, where? Uh, perhaps the second paragraph. Perhaps, oops. Perhaps one thing common to all of the country is Islam, the fed of the folk of the bulk of the population. However, interpretation of it var varies vastly across the country. Many people in in northwestern and western uh, coasts are fairly legal, fairly, li li fairly liberal about the religion, being nominal Muslims sometimes to be point of being irreligious, while folk of the central step steps steps, yep, steps. are far from for more conser conservative. The rest of the country falls somewhere in between. All right. So we have two different paragraphs here. The first one's talking uh, about Hagia Sophia and how it's a combination, right? It started uh, as as Servet mentioned as a as a basilica, so it was a a, a church basically. It was for for um, Christianity for over a thousand years. Okay, it was the largest in the world. Um, when you have cathedral, cathedral refers to Christianity, so it's a, a place of worship, like a, a big church. Okay, um, but it, it, there's a lot of um, a lot of combinations of uh, Islam and Christianity and, and different kinds of um, uh, architecture. Okay, 
and and um, I, I guess yeah, ar architecture and and design. Okay, um, making it really interesting. And then uh, the second paragraph talks uh, about Islam in in the country of uh, of Turkey and talking about how the the majority of Turkey is um, Muslim, but some are more Muslim than others, right? Some people, I, th uh, I know, in, especially in, uh, in Istanbul, I think, um, people are is Islamic, but um, less, less conservative about it, more liberal about it. It says here, being nominal Muslims. What does that mean, nominal Muslims? Like not practicing Muslims? Not, yeah, not really practicing, right? People say, "What? What's your religion?" They say, "I'm Muslim," but they don't really, you know, uh, follow uh, Islam every day, right? They don't. They don't, um, you know. Do how all how is this word? Nominal. How oh, nominal? You see it there? It says mm -hmm. nominal right here. Nominal Muslims. So oh, when okay. you. Nominal, nominal Muslims, not nominal Christians, nominal Buddhists, right? We're talking about people who, if you ask them, what's your religion? They'll say, I'm Muslim, I'm, I'm Christian, I'm Buddhist, but they don't do much to prove it. Right? And then it says, people um, in the central steppes, okay, so near, near Ankara are, are uh, a bit more conservative, right? And, and everybody else in the country falls somewhere in the middle. Uh, any questions about anything here, guys? Any words that you think, what does that mean? The word alloy. What alloy, that okay. That's a tough one. When we're talking about art alloy, we're talking about um, the, the kinds of um, decorations they're using in there. An alloy mm -hmm. usually refers to a metal, okay, when you talk mm -hmm. about an alloy. Uh, it means combination of two metals. Sure, a combination of two metals. There you go, Yasin. So, Servet Yasin, inside uh, Hagia Sophia, are there many, um, the mosaics are made of uh, metal combinations, is that right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Okay. On the wall there are some things, but in the middle is pretty free, the middle or things. Sure, the big Usually, space. you know, on the walls you, you see some, like, some things, like pictures, this type of things. Yeah. But in the middle is pretty free. Okay. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, okay, let's move on, guys, because we have a lot to go through. Uh, all right. So, Mauricio, here's your flying carpets. <laughs> Mauricio, what he thinks about when he thinks of uh, Turkey, and he said servet on a magic carpet. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, Send it by the sailor. Carpet, carpet fly, uh, flight carpet number one, destination to Istanbul or something like that. <laughs> it better, it better come pick you up in uh, Bogota first and bring you there, right? Uh, Natalia asks, can you pronounce the word mosaic? Mosaic, okay? It almost sounds like a Z sound, like 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 that. Mosaic, okay. Um, okay. So, Yasin, did you just say something? I missed that. No, no. No, okay, okay, no problem. So, by the way, it's not a flying carpet. Not <laughs> a fly, no, by the way, this is not a magic carpet. <laughs> if you get on just, it, you will not fly. It's just yeah. a rug that you use when you pray. Okay, yeah. You, you put it on. Right. Is that, is that known as a, um, a, a kilim? Chilim? No, it has a special name. You call it sejade. Ah, okay. It only use when you pray. This is a, this is a, pr a prayer rug, okay. okay. The, only this one, though, right? Not not the one underneath. Yes. No, on, on the upper one. Yes. Only the upper one, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's read on here. Um, Muhammad, can you read that for us? Muhammad. Muhammad yeah. Muhammad. Can, can you read about Turkish carpets and rugs? Okay. Uh, Turkish carpets and rugs, whether hand knotted or flat woven, kilim, so so much. 
Kikim Zili are among the most well known and established handcrafted artworks in the world. Continue. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not clear. Yeah. Many, many regions in Turkey produce handmade kilims and carpets through the samples and figures differentiate depending on the region in which the carpet is produced. They are generally symbolic expressions based on ancient um, Anatolian, Anatolian, yeah. Anatolian religions and or uh, nomadic Turkey life. Tur Tur that should say Turkish. I'm not sure why it says Turkic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Turkish. Uh, Turkish life. Yeah. Turkish life, which takes shape around um, shamanic leaves more than 1,000 years ago. You can find shops specialized on handmade carpets and kilims in any major city. Tourist spot, spot and Sultan, Sultan Hamid. Sultan, Sultan Hamid. Ahmed. Sultan Rahmat. Ahmed. Ahmed. Ah, Sultan yes. Ahmed. Yeah, Sultan Ahmed area. Yeah. <laughs> right, good. Sport and the Sultan Ahmed area. Well, yeah. What does that mean, Sultan Ahmed area? King King Ahmed. Yeah. Ah, good. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Ahmed is the I name and the Sultan. I think Ahmed. this should probably be like this, right? No. Ahmed? No. 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 Ahmed. Ahmed. That's correct. Okay, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, how do you I think, think Sultan, Sultan is a word and Ahmed is another word. Ah, yes. okay, got it. It's also the place where Ayah Sophia placed and yeah. Blue Mosques. And Blue Mosques as well, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. How do you say these words, Sarvet? Can you read those for us? I, I, I saw that Mohammed was struggling with, those, with the Turkish uh, yeah. words here. And I have no idea how to say them either. Kilim I think I'm trying one. to figure out what they mean. The first one is Kilim. <laughs> yeah. The second one is maybe they mean sumak, yeah. a kind of food. Like okay. Not food, like like a flavor. I think the third one is Sijim, and the fourth one, Zili. I don't. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> no wrong. Well, this is just information I found. So, uh, yeah. It, it, it might seem a little strange. Any questions about any of that, guys? Mm. Hey, I have a question. Yasin and, and Saravet, how much would um, a big rug like this cost, do you think? The, not, not the prayer rug, but the one underneath. Actually, if you like, like handmade yeah. uh, rugs, I don't know. They, they will be pretty expensive. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, like normal, the, the on the bottom thing, they are cheap. They are because fabricated things. But if you buy, like I said, handmade rugs, I don't know. It made. Yeah, I'm sure it I, can get quite expensive. It's a lot of work, right? I haven't bought. <laughs> any okay. other one. <laughs> Got anyway. it. All right. Let's move on a bit. All right. Can anybody tell me what is this? Um, shower. <laughs> okay. Public. Okay. Public. Public shower. <laughs> well, this this is uh, an imam, right? Also uh, known in the West often as a Turkish bath, right? Yes. An imam. Uh, I I've only ever been to one imam, but it wasn't in Turkey. It was in uh, in Morocco. But, uh, I think I think that, uh, they're famous in Turkey, right? In the West, they became known as the Turkish baths, right? Is uh, Yasin Servet is is it pretty common to go to an imam? Nowadays, no, not really. No, no, it's changed a little bit, right? Yeah, maybe I just I remember one time I went Turkish bath yeah. with my father, but usually maybe my uncles. They would go, I think. Nobody is known. Nobody goes. Not as much, yeah. yeah. It, it seems like quite a traditional thing, but I remember it was it was quite relaxing stuff. Yes. 
you know, you know, there are places like sauna and they're cold. Yes, are you, yes. A place that that hot water comes from ground, under the ground. Right. Like there are some spring. places we, in we some cities. What do you call it? We, it, we just call it a, a, a spring. A spring. spring. Yeah. Yes. Or, or maybe a hot spring. Mm. Yes. Usually, uh, these type of places are more common. What they are not in in some in some states you can find this, not everywhere. In some, you can you can find a little like pool and this hava, Turkish bath and a like, sauna, like in a one complex, not in a one center, one place. Yeah. And normally, this type of just hava in cities, not, nobody goes. But like I said, springs is popular. Sure. Okay. Especially in winter, if you don't. You can go outside, or like hotels, beaches. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's nice in the winter for sure. Yeah. That sounds great. I, I, you know what? That, that's probably good when you're sick too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Perfect. Daniel. Yes. We uh, in my town we have the this hammam. It's, it's it's cheap and it's, it's very very uh, helpful because it cures some uh, the, I don't know some sick something. Sure. It yeah. is. Uh, Elias, is it is it popular in Tunisia? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's not in Tunisia, but it's my town, small city in the Tunisia. Oh, okay. We are known with this uh, hammam. Okay, got it. Cool, cool. Uh, we're gonna read it in a sec. Just one second, guys. Uh, Marisole, uh, en esta clase necesitamos hablar en en inglés, okay? Pero tengo una otra clase esta tarde en en Seis horas en, en español, o los principiantes de inglés que hablan español, y por eso deben venir, deben venir a esa clase porque probablemente es más fácil para ti. Sorry, guys, I just, just explaining that uh, we want to you speak English. In this class. <laughs> speak in English in this class. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, Servant, do you want to read to us about hamams? Okay. Turkish bath hammam is the tur th Turkish variant of a steam bath, sauna or Russian bath, distinguished by a focus on water as distinct from ambient steam. In Western Europe, the Turkish bath as a method of clean sink and reduction became more popular during the Victorian era. The process involved in taking a Turkish bath is similar to that of sauna, but is more closely related to ancient Greek and ancient Roman bathing practices. A person taking a Turkish bath first relaxes in a room known as the warm room that is heated by a con continuous flow or hot dry air allowing the bather to perspire freely. Bathers may then move to an even hotter room. Oh, sorry. I don't know why that happened. You minimize the screen. <laughs> known, <laughs> known as the hot room. Before splashing themselves with cold water, after performing a full body wash and receiving a message. Massage. Bothers finally retire to the cooling room for a period of relaxation. All right. And one thing that I think is important to notice is oops, that um, they splash themselves with cold water. So there's a lot of heat exchange, right? You change from hot to cold, right? Yeah. Pretty, pretty normal thing. And it really makes you feel alive when you get that cold water <laughs> after being in hot water. You're like, wah, <laughs> right? right? It also says... Um, the, the hot, dry air is allow, allowing the bather to perspire freely. What do we mean when we say perspire? Anybody know what that yeah, means? Like breathing? Not quite, no. Perspire. Has anybody ever heard that Transpir word? Perspire. Transpiration? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Perspiring. Sweating. Usually, yeah, we say to sweat. Okay? Sweat, I think. To sweat. So sweating 
is to perspire. Same thing. Okay. Uh, cool. All right. Hey, listen, guys. We have way more to do still uh, on the culture and the history. So what I want to do, next class we're going to jump right into doing some more readings.